The bacteria that live in our body, they've learned how to outwit many of our most powerful antibiotics. These drug-resistant bacteria are called superbugs. Every year, these superbugs infect more than 2 million people in the United States and kill at least 23,000. As we are all aware from media reports, the job of battling contamination is becoming more difficult because of the escalating numbers of so-called superbugs. Last year alone, 500,000 people developed serious infections from Clostridium difficile, or C. diff. A 2012 study concluded that 80% of hospital-associated infections are caused by bacteria listed on this chart. Also, a 2015 Xavier University follow-up study showed that improperly disinfected mattresses led to an increase in hospital-acquired C. diff infections. Environmental services staff work hard to stay a step ahead of the germs on every hospital surface that people touch. The single highest patient touch point in a room is the patient mattress. It's exposed to significant quantities and varieties of patient bodily fluids, more than any other medical device in the hospital. Unfortunately, it can also be a difficult medical device to clean and disinfect. Healthcare providers and especially environmental services technicians are doing their level best to prevent healthcare associated infections at every turn. In some areas, they're succeeding. But the deck has been stacked against them when it comes to outrunning pathogens on a hospital bed and stretcher mattresses. In this battle, they have five serious challenges. One, the nature of the mattress surfaces themselves. Mattresses are categorized by EPA as soft surfaces. Wiping the surface with a cloth may leave soil and microbes behind. Two, the lack of EPA-registered soft surface disinfection methods and consistent instructions. There's no EPA-registered products approved for disinfection on soft surfaces. Because environmental services personnel have only EPA-registered hard surface disinfectants available, they must use these to disinfect mattresses even though they are not labeled for use. Three, disinfectant chemicals that cause damage to the mattress materials because they are not intended for use on soft surfaces. The off-label use of hard surface disinfectants on soft mattresses eventually causes permanent damage, which destroys the fabric's barrier integrity and allows contaminated fluids to get inside the core of the mattress. Four. Lack of process control and repeatability. The more complexity there is in a manual process, the harder it is for each person to repeat it exactly the same way. And five, time constraints. EVS personnel have many tasks to complete when turning over a patient room. They are often under pressure to complete all the cleaning within a prescribed time objective or because the patient is already waiting for a bed. To better understand the time issues, we engaged an independent engineering firm to conduct a time study with a seasoned environmental services professional from an area hospital. The purpose was to determine the actual amount of time required to clean and disinfect a patient mattress. Three different cleaning and disinfection processes were evaluated. One, a single step process that is a typical current practice. Two, a two step process with separate cleaning and disinfection phases. Three, a six step process with separate cleaning and disinfection phases that both include recommended rinsing and drying steps. This study presumes that gross soils have already been removed before this terminal reprocessing. A significant factor in disinfection time is dwell time specified by the disinfectant manufacturer, which can range from 2 to 10 minutes. In these time studies, a dwell time of 10 minutes was used to represent a leading quaternary hard surface cleaner used for mattresses, even though it's not labeled for this use. After wetting, the surface must be watched and possibly re-wetted during the disinfectant dwell time. When a mattress is wiped once and left to dry, the fluid often evaporates before the full dwell time is reached. This does not assure full, adequate disinfection. The study also presumes that, in addition to the mattress top and sides, the mattress bottom and bed deck must be clean and disinfected. Now let's examine each process. The single step process simulation is intended to mimic the widely used current practice for cleaning and disinfecting patient mattresses. It uses a single chemical that is approved as a cleaner and a disinfectant. So the surface is considered to be both clean and disinfected with a single wiping action. If the surfaces are only wetted once without paying attention to dwell time, the time required is three minutes and 19 seconds. This is the common practice today. This one-step process does not align with the best practices specified by FDA and AMI guidance. This process is not likely to provide repeatable and adequate disinfection. The two-step process is the simplest version of a protocol that aligns with the recommended practice of performing cleaning and disinfection in two separate steps. However, the same chemical must be used for both the cleaning and disinfecting steps.
Otherwise, a rinsing step would be required between the two steps to remove virtually all the cleaner so it would not interfere with the action of the disinfectant. Total time required is 15 minutes and 20 seconds. Since there's no rinsing involved, the two-step process also presumes there are no adverse effects associated with leaving disinfectant on the mattress cover, such as soil binding, biofilm formation, mattress cover damage, increasing microbial resistance, and patient contact sensitivity. The six-step process is the most robust and compliant version of the recommended practices for disinfecting medical devices like patient beds and mattresses. The cleaner and disinfectant are two different chemistries to assure efficacy and prolong the integrity and useful life of the mattress cover. In addition, rinsing and drying steps are performed after cleaning to assure that the cleaning agent and water are thoroughly removed and will not impede the activity of the disinfectant. Another rinsing and drying step is included after disinfection to reduce potential adverse effects from residual disinfectant on the mattress cover. Total time required, 24 minutes, 47 seconds. However, even this robust process is not effective against C. diff and other spore-forming pathogens and can be variable because it is a complex manual process. With less than ideal mattress disinfection methods available to them, some of which carry significant risk, what are hospitals to do? There's a new evidence-based process that has been tested under real-world conditions and shown to be faster, simpler, more effective, and more reliable. It uses a microscopically impermeable, launderable cover that is placed over a clean mattress and bed deck before the patient is admitted. Then it is removed when the patient is discharged. The process steps involve removing the contaminated cover from the bed after patient discharge, cleaning the mattress with soap and water, allowing it to air dry, and then installing a freshly laundered cover. The total time for this new bed turnover process is 4 minutes and 30 seconds. This is a huge time saver for environmental services teams. When applied according to the instructions for use, this reusable fluid-proof barrier prevents microbes and microscopic particles from getting in or out. This keeps each patient from becoming contaminated by the previous occupant and prevents the new patient's flora from contaminating the mattress and bed deck. After the Trinity Guardian patient protection system is removed, it's put through CDC-compliant laundering to disinfect it for the next use. The Trinity laundry process uses detergents to break down soils coupled with the mechanical agitation of the washing machine. Multiple fresh water rinses, chlorine disinfectant in 160 degrees Fahrenheit water, and a final neutralizing process to bring the surface to a neutral pH. Drying is accomplished at 160 degrees Fahrenheit. What the wash disinfectant process does not kill, the high drying temperature does kill. The patient protection system, which also includes a pillow cover, is reusable for up to 150 launderings, and it's the only process discussed here that has been proven to reduce healthcare-associated infections such as C. diff. As you can see, there is an easier solution for mattress disinfection, and it's from a company that takes healthcare very seriously. Everything we do at Trinity Guardian is grounded in clinical research, and our clinical studies are peer-reviewed and published. More importantly, our products are the result of the kind of evidence-based design that is required by healthcare reimbursement agencies. Please reach out to us if you'd like more information about any of the references or research data discussed in this video.